Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest, that I may preach with the heart, with humility, not just with the lips, and that the people will listen with their hearts, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit. Mga kapatid, wherever you are, I'd like to greet you all a Happy New Year and believe that this will be a happy and a new year. We pray that this year, 2021, will be a better year for all of us in all aspects in Jesus' name. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New You. That's what the New Year is all about. Happy New Year. Happy New You. Uh, somebody said, what will the new year bring? It depends a lot on what you will bring into the new year. Uh, we don't know what it will bring. Yeah, sure, there are many things we don't know. But you bring in what you within your control. And that's you. The new you. Remember po kung may handaan, oh, Ano bang madadala mo? Hindi naman pwedeng palagi ka nalang bahala kayong magdala po sa ako kakain. No. They all contribute. So anong contribution mo sa mundo? You, what can you bring to the Lord this new year? We have gone through Christmas. We have gone through the pandemic year. We should have learned lessons by now. Sana natuto na po tayo ng mga leksyon na dapat na natin talagang isama sa ating Buhay. Happy New You. Ang mahirap kasi mo iba yung walang dala. Mas mahirap po yung walang kadala-dala. <laughs> walang kadala-dala. Parang wala lang, walang nangyari. Pareho pa rin. No, God is speaking so loudly. Ang lakas na po ang ginagawa ng Panginoon para makinig tayo. Hoy, hoy. Hey, hey, you change. Ano wala, mga iba, wala lang. When will we ever learn? If today you hear His voice, harden not your heart. God is speaking. So what will you bring? Siguro maganda po, bago tayo mag-move on, let's have one last look. One more look at the Belen. Marami ko sa atin, this week, next week, ayan na. Ididismantle na yung bilin, mga dekorasyon, tatanggalin na. Sa ilalagay? Ilalagay lang sa, sa box. And then, maybe December next year, maybe again. Tig- parang, wala lang, walang nangyari. No, hindi po pwede yun. Dapat po, dalhin natin sa ating paglalakbay itong bagong taon, the spirit of Christmas in our hearts, and in our homes. So, siguro kung titignan natin, one of the first things we do sa New Year is, Lord, bahala na po kayo. Hindi po namin alam what will happen this year. Who knows? This time last year, we were coming in, we were still carefree. Nako, wala, wala lang. Another year, carefree. Now, this year, we are very careful. <laughs> alam na natin, natututo na tayo. Dati we were not mindful. Wala lang. Bahala kayo dyan. Ako lang. May, may mga plano na. Now we are very mindful. We are mindful of what's happening, of people all over the world, nature. We are mindful and we are mindful of one another. Sana kahit papano. Sana all. And siguro, bago natin i-dismantle yung bilen, anong mapupulot natin sa mga characters Sa bilen. Sino pong unang character sa nativity scene? Of course, the main character is the baby Jesus. Nandyan siya. The helplessness of this baby Jesus and the hope na binibigay niya sa atin. Please carry the Lord with you in your heart. Never lose hope. Never lose hope, please. Basta keep saying, as you go to this year, Lord, you are with me. Emmanuel, the Lord is with us. You are with me, Lord. 
You are with my family, Lord. You are with our country, Lord. You are with the world. You are with us. Hindi yung COVID-19 ang pinaka presence. This is the presence of God more than anything ang mangibabaw. Another character. Sino po? Si Mama Mary. The woman who listened, who reflected, and who prayed. I cannot imagine yung pinagdaanan ni Mama Mary. You become the mother of God. Just ko po. At walang tatay, hindi kilala. Oh my God. Nachismis na siya at lahat. Ang dami siyang pinagdaanan po. And all throughout her life, siguro nagtatanong siya, ito ba yung anak ng Diyos? Bakit pinanganak sa sabsaban? Wala bang hotel dyan? Di ba? Expectation mo. And yet, it was not happening according to man's standard. I'm sure doubts must have crossed her mind. But she continued to listen, reflect, and pray. Yan po ang isang dalhin natin sa New Year. Listen, reflect, and pray. If I may say it, para mas madali po niyong tandaan, LTO, kasama natin yan sa daan. Listen, trust, and obey. Keep that. Very important po sa ating paglalakbay. O sino pa yung isang kwan? Sino po? Si Joseph. The man who did not say any word in the Bible. There's no spoken word of Joseph. Hindi siya nagsalita. Kumbaga sa Zoom, siya yung mute. Na-mute siya. <laughs> Tahimik lang. But this man believed and obeyed God. Hindi niya maintindihan bilang isang lalaki, how can you? Hindi mo na maanak yan, pero pinanindigan niya dahil sinabi ni Lord. We have much to learn from St. Joseph, mga kapatid. By the way, by the way, I started in Christ the King po, 1966. Little boy, I was 12. And, you know, forest, ladito, and the cemetery is at the back. And the statue of St. Joseph I've always wondered why, bakit si St. Joseph nandun sa liblib, nasa tabi ng cemetery. Ang daming stages po everywhere, pero nandun siya. I finally found out last year why St. Joseph was put there. You know the simple reason? St. Joseph is the intercessor and protector. And he is the patron of Departing souls. Siya ang umaalalay on your last journey to God. Ah, now I know the wisdom of the German, the American, the Filipino priest who set up Christ the King. Now I know. St. Joseph, please stay with us in our journey. And you know that being quiet, siguro, Pagka masyado kang <laughs> maingay, madaldal, you pray to St. Joseph. Oh, you have so much in your mind, chatter, clutter, and you have so many, you're tempted to talk about people and think. Pray to St. Joseph to give you peace and silence. Oh, Jesus, Mary, Joseph, holy family na. So please bring along with you your family. Sila ang kasabay mo sa paglalakbay. You know, Manong Oscar was telling us, again, in our Zoom, magkakapatid, how important the family is. And many of us have realized that. And dami po dahil sa pandemic, naging mas close. Nag-uusap na finally. At maganda hong effect po. So, you travel with your family, please. And there's one key. Today, you start and say, have I any unforgiveness towards anyone, any member of my family? Please, fix that. Pray for the grace na maayos nyo yung mga sigalot, mga away-away sa pamilya. In the end, it's only your family that will be there for you. Believe me. 
all the so-called friends, the social friends, the business friends, your chica friends, whatever. Yeah, they're okay, but fix your family and ask the Lord to give you that grace. Let's journey 2021 with the family. And family includes, by the way, ha, kasi may iba nakakalimutan nila. Happy sila sa family nila, cozy-cozy. Pero how do you treat your household helpers, mga katulong, driver, mga workers nyo sa company nyo? They are part of your family, please. They are your immediate family. Treat them well. Treat them kindly. And please remember this, success outside the home cannot compensate for failure inside the home. Let's be more focused. Teka muna, mayroon pa bang mga characters sa nativity scene? The shepherds. The shepherds. And what is the trait of the shepherds? They were humble. The humble shepherds, watching their flock, obeying everything that the angel said. Humility, if only you have humility. 50% right away of your problems, mga stress mo, mga heartaches mo are gone. So travel light, please. Take the road of humility. Don't go to the highways of life. Take the side roads of humility. And you'll have a more peaceful life. Humility, humility. The shepherds. They stayed watch. They kept vigil. Humbly. Hindi po sila nagpa-staring. Halos nga hindi sila makilala. But they were there. Humble presence. Oh, ano pa? Kompleto na ba? Oh, the animals. <laughs> Mayroon mga animals there. Welcome committee ni Jesus. Humble, simple. May mga sheep, may mga goat siguro doon. Ano pa alaala po sa atin? Be mindful of nature. Be kind to nature. Hindi na po pwede yung abusuhin natin ang inang bayan, ang ating inang kalikasan. Hindi po. Huwag naman po. And the shepherds remind us again, to be good shepherds. Parents to be good shepherds. Priests to be good shepherds. Government officials to be good shepherds. Take care. Take care of them. Okay na ba? Oh, may nakalimutan pa tayo. Yung feast ngayon. The three kings, sabi natin. Well, we're not even sure kung tatlo sila at kung king sila. Bakit tatlo? Kasi may fr- fr- gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Three gifts, kaya three kings. Mm, not necessarily. And they were wise men. May pangalan pa tayo, no? Melchor, Gaspar, Jong, ano, 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 mga, ang dami mga pangalan ng mga iba, iba, iba. Anyway, they have a name. But you know what? You salute these, these guys. You know why? They were, they were rich and they were brilliant. And they were famous. But they were guided by a star. Ito pong magandang paalala sa mga mayayaman, makala mo magaling ka na at saka sikat ka na. Be sure may sinusundan ka. You are being guided by a star. Hindi pwede yung it's all about you. Eh. Ah, pera ko, magaling ako, I have so many nice opinions. And, uh, fine, but unless you are guided by someone greater, something greater than you, you're just, it's an illusion. We need someone greater than us na may sinusundan tayo. Alam po nyo, marami po kasi, they begin to think na it's all about me. No, 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 no. It's never about us. So today, as you make the journey, you say, Lord, I will follow you. You are my guiding star. Guiding star tayo lahat in a way. We guide others to the superstar. 
Ang problema ng iba, hindi nagiging guiding star kasi nagiging ikaw ay naging uh, blinding star. Ikaw na ang na, na, uh, superstar. Hindi na makita yung real superstar. And you blind people. In so far as parents become, don't become good examples, you blind the people. Wag po. We always point to the superstar. Wag po tayo magpa-starring. Ang Panginoon po ang starring. Siya lang. Guiding star. Follow. Tsaka yung wag tayong bibitaw. May nalala po ako. Uh, and I like to relate. I, you know, I get feedbacks from young people. I'm very happy we're relating with the millennials, the young people. And they love stories. So, hey guys. Ano ba yan? Entrata sa mga guys. There's a story about this man driving up to Baguio. Cannon Road. You know, all the curves there and turns. By the way, could you get a guess? How many turns yung Cannon Road? About approximately 30 turns? 50 maybe? Well, well actually, don't worry about it. Actually, there are only two turns. Left turn and right turn. Dalawa lang naman yung talaga. Sa buhay po natin, dalawa lang yan eh. Left or right or straight. Follow, follow. Anyway, this guy, it was so foggy, so ang ginawa niya, he followed a car with tail light. Ah, everywhere. Sunod siya. Tailgate talaga siya. Sinunda niya. Hanggang sa dulo. Foggy na talaga. He was so happy with his discovery. But after a while, the car in front of him stopped. So he also stopped. Hindi na siya makatiis, nagbuse na siya. Pa, 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 pa. So the guy from the other car went back, went down, said, Boss, bakit to? Bakit? Boss, abante na tayo. Diretso na tayo. And the man said, Nasa garahe ko na ito eh. Garahe ko na ito. <laughs> he was already in his garage. Tenacity. That's how we should follow the Lord. No matter what. Hold on to that. And look at this. One lesson from these three Magi. They made the journey. They went out of their palaces, their comfort zones, maybe from their laptops, whatever they had, because they were going to follow this star. si Herod, he could have been a great king. He could have been the fourth great king. Wala. Ang mistake ni Herod, alam mo sinabi niya? Oh, kayo, oh, Melchor, Gaspar, Baltasar, sige nga, mauna na kayo doon. You go ahead. And uh, he said, uh, you report to me. You go, and then you come back and report to me what you have seen. He did not personally make the journey. Parents, you have to make the journey. Show the children how to pray. Don't tell them, Sige, magdasal ka. You pray. You make the journey. And please, I'd like to remind all of you who have become so comfortable with life, make your journey to God. Don't wallow in your money, your achievements, your popularity, your connection. This don't matter in your final journey. Believe me, you carry nothing with you when you leave this world. Nothing. Except the love in your heart and the faith you have shared. Please make that journey. Go out of the comfort of your homes. You know, if the journey means you have to say sorry to people, you do that. That's part of your journey to God. If the journey means you have to share your blessings now, please do that. Basta you followed and you made the journey. Ibig sabihin yan, you travel your journey to God's heart. Mga kapatid, sooner or later, all of us will make that final journey to God. Follow the light. Keep following the light. I've talked, I've heard, I've read about near-death experiences. Karamihan po, they're saying, basta may ilaw. 
Sundan mo lang ilaw. You follow the light. And it leads you to a presence. Don't follow the darkness. At that time and hour, you'll be tempted between the light and the darkness. If all your life you've always tried to follow goodness and the light and the Lord, you will reach your final destination. So, okay na ba? Kompleto na? The characters? Oh! One more character. The main character of Christmas. John 3.16 For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. Love. Bring lots of love in this journey. Bring lots of love, mga kapatid. It, even if it means to forgive, to share, uh, to reach out, to text positive things to people. Now na. So, maligayang paglalakbay at makahulugan na paglalakbay sa 2021. Oh, there's one more thing. The three kings brought gifts. As you journey, please share your gifts, your time, your talent, and your treasures. Let's be generous like the, the Magi. What are you doing the rest of your life? Just preserving yourself, wanting to have that. No, there's still a mission. You have to get involved. You pray, sure. You reflect, sure. But there are people around you and me that really need your love. Let's start now with a simple exchange gift. One gift all of us can give right now, anywhere you are, is the gift of a smile. So may I now invite you all? Smile naman dyan. Sa katabi mo. <laughs> See? That's a gift. It's free. Do it more often, please. And one more thing. In every journey, magingat kayo. Magingat tayo. May mga magnanakaw. <laughs> may mga snatcher dyan. So be careful. You, you watch your back, watch each other. I always tell pilgrims noon yung may mga paro-paro. May code kami pagka you go in a crowded place and you notice somebody na, alam mo na, pickpocket. So our code was, paro-paro ng bukid. So everybody start singing, everybody would ko na. So I'm playing warning yan. So, eto nga po. Mga kapatid, what sino Ano ang pinakamalaking magnanakaw in your journey towards God's heart? Dalawa po yan. The past and the future. Naglalakad ka na pero nandung ka pa. Rewind ka kasi ng rewind. You're still living in the past. Tapos na yun. Napatawad ka na. And yet, nandun eh. Hindi ka makamove on. So your journey is heavy. Tapos na. Nagkamali tayo. You are forgiven. Okay na yun. Believe. It's better to be presumptuous of God's love than to doubt God's love. Yung, yung nangyari yun, nasaktan ka, forgive na yan. Tapos na yan. Oh, yung mga faded glory mo, alam nyo kasi, nung panahon ko, ay, ay hello, tapos na po yung panahon nyo. Dito na po tayo. See how the past, how many people are miserable because they're still living in their past and they cannot let go whatever was there in the past. The good and the bad. The happy and the sad. Nandun eh. Sige, pwede ba? Ibaba na natin yan. Lord, my past, I put them in your heart. Bahala ka na. Hindi ko na ugladal yan. Extra baggage po kasi yan. Sino ang pangalawang magnanakaw? Si future. You're always worrying what will happen. Ako, ano mangyayari? Bakit ang tagal na? Sampung buwan na, nandiyan pa rin ang COVID. Next year kaya, mayroon pa? I was talking with some ordinandi. I gave a retreat to deacons. Yun, what somebody was saying, what will happen when I get ordained? I will have to learn a new language. Baka babaguhin na naman. Nilipat ako. Ano? Is that what you're worried about? 
Hey, you're about to be ordained February with tremendous gifts and graces. And you were worrying what will happen 3, 5, 10 years from now? Sabi ko, snap out of that. The future is in God's hands. And I believe too, please don't forget the angels. One time I was walking, jogging in Christ the King. I don't know why. I stopped. My shoelace was... Uh, tinali ko. Pagtali ko ganon, maybe five, six, seven seconds. Bam! May bumagsak na sanga. I could have been there. <laughs> but I somehow I stopped. Thank you, guardian angel. So... Please don't worry. You have to trust God more. Yeah? So, ready na tayo? Um, the more you worry, the more you hurry to the cemetery. Be still, know that I am God. So, maligayang paglalakbay, mga kapatid. Now, let me end. I share the story of the, of the geese. <laughs> I... Hindi ko alam yung geese nung first Friday. Yung geese. Yung, yung lumilipad. Di ba? Ano yung geese? Geese what? <laughs> geese who? <laughs> geese pala, may nag-text, Father, yan ay pabo. Ha? Hindi pala pabo. <laughs> hindi rin. Yung pala ay pato. Ay, hindi. Ang geese ay yung gansa. Paglalaki, ganso. Ganun ba yan? <laughs> anyway. And the lesson of the geese, they go fly long, 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 long flights. International sila eh. The secret is this. They always fly in formation. V. V formation. Why? Aerodynamics. Yung leader flaps, yung second flaps. The wind somehow becomes there, lifts them up because they're in formation. Let's stay in formation. Wag po tayong magkakanya-kanya. Watak-watak. We need to be together, okay? If, uh, if we are together, and we are in, in onion, there's strength. Onion? And this, buyas yan eh. In union, there's strength. Tama, kasi onion, mayroon din strength. No? Anyway, second, the geese, uh, they always... Uh, when the leader becomes tired, he goes back, atrasya, another one takes over. Wala pong indispensable sa atin. We can get tired, we can get sick. It's okay. I mean, others can take over. Hindi pwedeng mo ikaw lang. Hindi po. We are a team, alright? Number two, uh, three, uh, the geese, when somebody gets sick, hindi na kaya, bababa, may sasama sa kanya. Dalawa. Or, you know, they stay with that until kaya na naman niya ulit. Pag kaya na niya, they go again. They try to catch up. Yun po. Tulungan po tayo, ha? Tulungan tayo sa ating paglalakbay. And that's one more thing. The geese, pagka lumilipad na sila, they honk. Pop, pop. Ay, nag- nagaganon sila sa ito sa They give encouragement. Oh, sa leader nila, oh, oh, kaya mo yan, okay, keep it up. They lift up one another, they don't put down one another, they don't, hindi sila tag-chichismisan tungo sa isa't isa. They always say good words. Now, the word benediction, pala, the meaning is Latin, benedicere, to say good to other people. That's how we're going to journey in our journey to God's heart. And one last story. <laughs> hey guys, the story about this little boy and the dad went to a candy store and the boy was looking at this bowl of candies. And the owner said, hey, you can get a handful, it's free. And he looked at his daddy. And the one again said, hey, little boy, you can go. It's free. And the boy looked again at his daddy. Finally, well, the daddy said, I'll make do it. Got it. He said goodbye. When they were walking home, the dad said, Son, why did you not get a handful from that 
Candy, it was free. And the son said, Dad, because your hands are bigger than my hands. You could get more. I could only get so little. Keep that in mind. God, our Father's hands, are bigger than your hands. He's generous. He can protect us all. Keep that in mind. And please, stop focusing on your hands. What you have in your hands. These are little compared to what God has given to you and me. Anyway, Happy New Year, everyone. And Mama Mary is with us in this new year. Always and in always. And may all our hopes, our dreams come true. We have a father who has big hands. He'll take care of us. We now profess our faith to God. As we start our journey, we say, I believe in one God.